Hello everyone, welcome to day 25th of January Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is valid mountain array. In this question, we are given an array of integers. We need to check whether these integers represent a mountain or not. And how will they represent a mountain? If you plot them on a piece of graph, uh, and you, you should observe a mountain kind of a structure getting formed. Initially, it should be strictly increasing followed by strictly decreasing and in case you see any violation as mentioned here It's not a mountain array and we need to return false if it's a mountain array then only we need to return true So they have provided few examples over here I'll talk about these examples as well as the algorithm to go about it in the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to the PPT Valid mountain array lead code 941. It's a medium level question on lead code However, I would like to rate this question under easy category. So let's try and understand the question by a very basic example. If you plot these points 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 4, 2, 1 on a graph of paper, what you will see, you will see the structure something like this. So after 1, we see 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9, and from 9, there's a dip. We see 4, we see 2, then we see 1, and finally we see a 0. So we observed that the mountain is getting formed when we plot this array on a graph of paper and hence it's a mountain array. The interesting case comes that in what all cases you'll see a violation. One of the typical approaches, you see an increasing array, then a decreasing array and then you again see some increasing array followed by a decreasing one or you may not see this. But as soon as you see that there are more elements that start to increase after the decreasing array, the decreasing part then you say it's a violation the other case could be there is no increasing part in the array so this part is actually missing it's an absolutely decreasing array the other one could be there's an in absolutely increasing array there's no decreasing part in the array in all such cases it's all violation and so we have discussed four cases one is the happy case where you see an increasing part followed by a decreasing part and you have consumed the entire array while iterating through these two parts there's a the, the, in the second case we see sign get, sign curves getting formed increasing decreasing increasing decreasing and as soon as you see an increasing array after the decreasing one you abort the process and say it's not a valid mountain in the third case we see there is a missing decreasing part and in the fourth case you see uh, there's a missing increasing part so these two are those cases and let's quickly move on to the coding section where we'll conclude the complete algo. So let's start the iteration. In the first go, what do we need to check? It should be strictly increasing in nature as the mountain in the first part increases. So I've taken a variable uh, length that is equal to array dot length. And in case my length is zero, that's a corner case. I'd absolutely abort the process and return false. Otherwise I start the iteration till the time I'm seeing the array increasing in nature, I keep on incrementing the i pointer. Otherwise, as soon as I see the current element happens to be equal to a plus one, or it is less than that means it's decreasing in nature or it has started to decrease in nature, I break the process. Then I go ahead and check if my i happens to be zero, that means there was no increasing part or I have consumed the entire array. That means the array is finished and there is no decreasing part. The two corner cases, the third and the fourth case that we talked about, in all those cases, we need to return false. Otherwise, now I have seen that half of the, some portion of the array is increasing in nature and I, I need to check whether the rest of the portion is decreasing in, in nature or not. So I have just reversed the if condition and rest remains the same till the time I'm seeing a decreasing kind of nature that is strictly decreasing. There's no equal to sign over here. I keep on incrementing the I pointer. In the end, I simply check whether i happens to be equal to len minus 1. If it is not, then I abort the process. So let's try this out. Accepted. It's pretty good. It's 56% faster. Probably I'm connected to VPN. That's why. However, the time complexity of this approach is order of n. And the space complexity is constant time. We are not using any extra space. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.